Welcome to our video on soup bowl cozies. Each store cuts their own selections, so you the selection will vary from store to store. With each packaging, you'll get fabric, two coordinating fabrics. In this case, we've got gnome for the holidays. You'll get instructions. Um, each kit will give you enough to make four soup bowl cozies, and you get enough wrap and zap, which makes it microwave safe and you'll get instructions for the wrap and zap. So let's show you how simple these fun gifts are and in my, in my house we keep them for ourselves as well. So these are good for putting your bowl of soup, stew, whatever you want to warm up in the microwave. You put it in the cold bowl, cold um, liquid into the soup bowl cozy put it in the microwave, heat it up, you pull it out, and you're not going to burn your fingers. Lord knows we've all done that. Plus, if you spill, you're not cleaning up the inside of your microwave. You just toss this in the wash. It's also good for ice cream. It doesn't melt as fast. Or if you have small children, you can put snacks right in the, the bowl. They can take it to the TV. They can take it outside, and you don't have to worry about it being broken. Alrighty. So, they're quite simple. We're going to give you a quick run through here. You're going to cut, for each bowl, two 10-inch squares of fabric and batting. They can be coordinated, they can be matching, it does not matter. But you're going to begin by drawing a line down the center. Get your favorite marking tool. Mine is almost always a friction pen. You're going to draw it five inches, because we know this is a 10-inch square. Oh, sorry. away so you know where the center is and then you're going to draw a diagonal on oops didn't quite get that there okay you can see that I've done it on this one we'll move on to this one and then you want to make your darts that make it pleat up nicely so what you're going to do is draw down two and a half inches from the top and then you're going to make a mark one inch from the center line and you're going to connect that to form your darts and you're going to do that four times like that okay then we'll move on to the next step so I've got them all drawn here I've wonder clipped that Okay, so you can see I've got my darts marked. What I do is fold it on that center line, make sure that I've got my edges even, and thank heaven for wonder clips with the bulk. I'm going to clip all that in place, and what I do is stitch on this line on all four darts. You may want to size up to a um, 14 needle to deal with all the bulk. So now I've, this bowl has already got my darts all sewn, stitch. So what I do, you can clip them down the middle and then cut them off. I like these Microtex. Make it a little tricky. Maybe it's time for me to sharpen my little scissors. I use these all the time. And then big ones. Flip it off on all four. Then you're going to repeat this entire process for the other side of your bowl because you need two sides. So when you've got your two sides done, we put them together. Lots of micro. I'm sorry, lots of uh, wonder clips, holding them all together. And then you're going to clip the corners so they poke out better. And you're going to clip with these little buggers about every inch all the way around. And you're going to have an opening. Sure you are. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and you're going to turn it right side out. 
I try not to uh, leave a seam open. It makes it difficult to turn it under. So this is a rather tedious process to get it all turned around, but have patience. You'll get it all through. I'm not going to make you watch me do it. It takes too long. So then you'll get them all done. You'll flip it right side out, give it a really good pressing. A wool pressing mat and a good hot iron are very helpful for getting it all nicely tight down there. Wonder Clips, make sure you get that um, opening turned under well, press it good, and then just top stitch real close to the edge, and that will hold your seam allowance in as well. It's that simple. Mm -hmm.